Good morning, my friend. Welcome to another day in boat life. Today I'm gonna be taking you on a little mini fishing expedition. I'm gonna be going out to a little underwater jetty at the point, it's kind of where the bay meets the open ocean. It's gonna be the first time I'll be fishing off a boat, offshore in the open water. A friend recommended it, so fingers crossed, I catch something good. A little life update though, yesterday I moved the boat for the first time. That was quite an experience. It was really windy. The actual driving of the boat wasn't difficult, but getting off the mooring ball, navigating to the dock to get water, and then clipping back into the new mooring ball was pretty challenging. Thankfully, I had a few friends with me that helped out. These are some of my close friends. They helped me find the boat and are helping me learn how to navigate it. Moral of the story is this is certainly not a solo expedition boat. This is more like a me plus two or three other people expedition boat. It's perfect for living on and staying in one place for longer periods of times or longer expeditions. So good news is I got a little dinghy for fishing and quick trips. I'm excited to show you. And the second great news is I got a brand new sunroof. <laughs> yeah, check it out. I was driving the boat, it was so windy, and this old strap behind me ripped. And my friend grabbed it, but then the second strap ripped too. And the whole thing came flying backwards. I thought I was gonna decapitate someone. Thankfully, no one was hurt, and I got left with this awesome hole in the ceiling for a sunroof. This thing was pretty old and dingy anyway, so I think it's time for a new one. I'm gonna have to look into getting one. I'm sure it's custom made, just like boats. Everything's custom. Thinking about enclosing the whole thing as well for when it gets colder. I'm not sure. This is gonna be a whole new game. I don't know much about boat upholstery, but if you know anything about it, let me know. Right now, I'm just enjoying my coffee. I'm gonna head downstairs, have some breakfast, and then we're gonna get to go fishing. Thanks to Magic Spoon for sponsoring this video. I'm starting my morning with a bowl of cereal. And no, I don't mean a bowl full of sugar. I'm eating a bowl of Magic Spoon, which is cereal reinvented. Until now, there's really only been two options. Super sweet sugary cereal with little to no nutritional value or cereal without sugar that tastes like cardboard. If you love cereal but avoid it because of all the sugar, then you'll love Magic Spoon. You get that same delicious taste with zero grams of sugar, 13 to 14 grams of protein, and only four net grams of carbs in each serving. It has only 140 calories per serving and it's keto friendly, gluten free, grain free, soy free, and it's low carb. They have eight delicious flavors, including cocoa, fruity, frosted, peanut butter, blueberry, cinnamon, maple waffle, and cookies and cream. You can build your own box by picking four of your favorite flavors, and it delivers right to your door. Or to your boat. Just kidding. Right to your door. I know I've talked about Magic Spoon before, and it's because I really think it's an amazing product that's great for breakfast or a quick snack on the go. Fruity's my favorite, but I'd love to hear what you'd choose. Magic Spoon is so confident in their product, it's backed with a 100% happiness guarantee. So, if you don't like it for any reason, they'll refund your money, no questions asked. Click my link below and use my code DRHANNA at checkout to get $5 off your order. What flavors will you try in your own custom build your own box? You have to let me know down below. And now, let's finish breakfast and get out on that dinghy so I can start fishing. Come on down and check out my new fishing dinghy. Ow! <laughs> this is my new dinghy. She's about 12 feet long and she's got a 50 horsepower engine on it, which is legally probably the largest engine I can put on this thing. I got it for fishing, quick trips, snorkeling, hopefully some scuba diving someday. I got a really good deal on it. I bought it used off a guy who had a big boat. He used it for that, but he had already sold the big boat. He kept this for fishing, but he ended up moving to a place he couldn't really fish, so he was trying to get rid of it. And I was like, hey, I'll take it. It's a center console, so it's really easy to navigate, and it's super fast. Gets you in and out so quick. It does have a fish finder on it too. Unfortunately, not really sure how to use it. It's only half hooked up, so we'll see how that goes. Enough talking, let's jump in, and let's head out there and try to catch some fish.
made friends out here. Wait, hold up. Did you see that? Let's rewind. Do you see that? Okay, well, if I catch a fish, I'm not sure how I'm going to bring him in. Are you kidding me? I just bought this pole last night. The handle just fell off. Do you see that? Gone. Dunzo, brand new pole. This is total baloney. Look at this quality manufacturing we have these days. I had to pull all the line in, find the handle, and wrap the pole up. So much for ocean fishing. A couple casts in, and the handle on my reel falls off. I guess it's time for me to get out of here. I'm going to try to find another spot to fish. I'm going to grab my pole that I have on my boat, and then maybe I'll do some sunset fishing. So, this is everything I got. The local fishing shop said I'd have the best luck with some worms. Yeah, I don't know about that. What would you use? This spot is so much better than the last. It's so calm, the sunset's perfect, way less rough. The sunset is just unbeatable. It's a great way to end the day. It's golden hour right now. It's my favorite time of day. This is the fish's favorite time of day too. I know it's this guy's favorite time of day. He is looking for the same thing I'm looking for. He'll probably be way more successful than me. Oh, this guy stingray. is not singing me. <laughs> oh. Come on. We got him. We got him. Oh. Wait, go for me. <laughs> I got a little stingray. I feel bad. I've got to let him back in the water. Hold this net. Hold this net. This is my little brother. I had to recruit him to help me catch a fish. I told him if he caught a fish, I'd give him $100, and I'm pretty sure he's gonna be out here for three days, except I'm pretty sure he starts school in two, so I'm gonna have to cut the time limit off. He tried to tell me he was a master fisherman, and I said, this is a competition. Who's gonna catch more fish? So far, I'm beating him, but we'll see what happens. Yeah. <laughs>